guys. Let's go into your new home. Welcome, Welcome back, back everyone. House Billings has had a lot of cool things going on past couple weeks. Been really crazy and hectic, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, if you have not been following along, please make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the bell so you can be notified and follow along on this journey. So to update you, last video, which it will be somewhere in the link here, you can follow along with that. We were, did a really cool thing, we went to Walmart, we saved as many of the fish as we could from a horrible situation. Uh, tanks were filthy, uh, there were dead fish everywhere, it was just a horrible situation. So we saved over 20 goldfish, saved a couple of really cool koi. We're gonna take all of those in, in videos down the road. When we build our pond, we're gonna put them in there. Uh, long story short, when we left Walmart, we had to leave some of the goldfish behind because there was just too many at the time. We didn't think they were gonna all fit in our 40 gallon. We were really upset about that. Didn't wanna leave them there because we know they're not gonna be taken care of. So we intended to go back and get all the rest of the goldfish and build our little pool pond to put all the goldfish in there. Uh, so we started the pool pond yesterday. Let me take you over to that clip right now. The uh, pool that we need is all the way back there. So. We're gonna go try and get that right now. Gray, you wanna go on an adventure? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go on an adventure. We're gonna try and get this pool. The issue is getting to it, we gotta walk through like basically a, a swamp that was made because of all the water. We live off a hill, all the water runs down there, piles up. Are you ready? Yeah. We're gonna have to walk through all of that. That's crazy. Should we take a boat? Yeah. Maybe we should take a boat. All right, so join us on this little quick journey here. What is that? That's lots of water. That's what that is. All right, little man, why don't you stay right there? Because it is really soupy over here. Look at this. This is literally just rainwater. It looks like an actual river, but it's not, I swear. It is just from the rainwater. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Oh, and of course, it's full of water. Oh, and a, and a lovely thorn bush right above it. Good job, we made it. We didn't need a boat. Probably aren't gonna be allowed in the house with our boots though, what do you think? Yeah, yeah probably not. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think the mom would like that too much. Oh. All right guys, so we're gonna bring this back and clean that. All right, let's clean this bad Larry out. We got our green, animal-friendly cleaner here. Quick side note, guys. This soap is really good if you're starting over or starting from scratch. Um, but if you already have a tank set up and you're just kind of changing water or doing anything like that, don't, don't use this. Great, what do you think we're gonna give here your, your pool here? to uh, the fishies that we're gonna save. We'll get you a new pool though, okay? All right guys, so pool is cleaned out. Looks good. This is uh, Gray's old pool. Um, so we asked, he said it was fine that we give it to the fishies. So we are good. We're gonna take it inside. This is not going outside, it is definitely not warm enough in New England yet for that. So this will be going inside. Um, it's either gonna be going in the basement, which we are going to be redoing this year so that we can start putting a ton of tanks down there or for right now, it might go in little man's room. A side note, we went to Walmart today and shockingly, they did clean their tanks a little bit, but when I say cleaned a little bit, I mean literally just like rubbed the outside to make it look like they did something. The bottoms were still filthy and in the goldfish tank, there were still the clumps of dead fish. So just, just gross and just neglect. Uh, so we're gonna go and get the rest of them out of there. I think they were, we counted today, there was about 10 to 12 left. Um, so we are gonna take those. They are gonna be going in this. Uh, we'll probably transfer some of the goldfish from the big tent, the 40 gallon into there as well so that the koi can have even more room. And then again, I'm super excited, but once summer comes and we build that pond, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get some more koi, we're gonna get them in there, and it will, it will be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. So, the plan was to finish up the pool pond yesterday, and then go back and pick up the goldfish, 
and get everything finalized and set up. But things got way too busy yesterday. We didn't have time to finish up the pool pond, so we are going to finish it up tonight. In the meantime, last night, Tay took the kids. They had to go to Walmart to pick up some other things while they were there. Noticed that the goldfish uh, little tank there was all the way down to like six or seven fish, and there was even one dying right in front of her face, which was just awful and disturbing. Um, and she decided she couldn't wait, so she got the rest of them last night. We brought them home, put them into the 40 gallon that we have set up with the other ones, and there's just definitely not enough room for all of them, so that's why it is important that we get our pool pond set up. So we got everything here. We got the pool. We got a couple of uh, little pots for the decorations inside. Um, really cool. We picked up a huge bag of uh, pebbles, rocks from uh, Home Depot. And what was awesome about it is that whole bag was only like four or five dollars. So we've used them before. Uh, we definitely recommend trying it out. One thing that keep in mind, make sure you wash them off really, really well and make sure you check that they can be used in uh, an aquarium or a pond. While she was at Walmart too, she was able to grab these. Super cheap, three of these in a pack for three bucks. She can't beat it. Throw them in there. We'll make it look a little bit more natural for the, uh, for the goldfish. So I am super excited. Can't wait to get this one done. We're gonna go up. We gotta wash out the rocks really well, like I said. Some water that's been cycling already in a, uh, an established tank of ours. So we'll throw some of that in and we'll get these guys into their new home. Good news, we don't need to use the whole bag because as you can see, that was taking forever to clean these. I really like them. They got some cool rocks in here. Uh, it almost looks like there's some uh, like sea glass. I know it's not, but like some of it kind of looks like that, which is really cool. So nice looking stuff. This will be plenty for these fish. So we're just gonna go upstairs. We gotta wash off the pots. We gotta wash off this. All right, so we got them all washed off. We are good to go. First thing we are gonna do Got a big pot here. Let's go in there and you'll see in a little bit what that's for. We got a surprise. So we're gonna just put these plants in here. I'm gonna put this pot over here. It's like a little cave for the fish. And probably offset this right near it. So that looks good. I think that's plenty for these guys. It's gonna be a real nice change from what they're in right now. Give them some more room, give the koi some more room. Um, next thing we're gonna do is start putting our water in. All right, so I got the water to start here. One downside about taking it from the other tank upstairs is there's no easy way to get it into this one other than taking 30 trips with these, so we gotta do that. Other side note, as you can notice, we are in the basement. Uh, we are going to be fixing up the basement a ton all year so that it looks a little bit nicer down here because we're gonna have a bunch of tanks. Uh, we're gonna have something big for Fred coming, which is awesome. We're gonna build that down here before the pond. So without further ado, let's get this water in the pond. Pool, pool pond. <laughs> All right, so water is good. We are right at the line that we wanna be at. Um, just a quick reminder, guys, this water all came from our established tank upstairs. We have a very large one. Uh, we do that for a reason so that we can get our fish into there a lot sooner. We're still gonna let this just, excuse me, cycle overnight and they should be good to go. We got our, as you can see, we kind of had to MacGyver our filter here because with the pool being slanted, can't hook it or suction it onto the side because it's too slanted and the water just kind of drips over the spout, uh, excuse me, out of the sides here. But I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like the bamboo. It gives it more of a natural feel. This is still just going to be temporary. This is just to get us by until we can build our outdoor pond. It's still unfortunately just not warm enough out here. 
in, in the New England area. And hopefully within the next few weeks to a month, we can start doing that. Um, but this will be perfect for them in the meantime. We probably will have to throw a heater in here for them. Do me a favor guys, comment below what you think about this. If you've done anything like this before or some other cool little uh, pool pond things that maybe you guys have done, let me know. And let me know what was your favorite part. Uh, so we will get the fish in there tomorrow. I'll see you then. All right guys, so as you can see, definitely too crowded, but things are going well. Uh, we got to add some water anyways, so what I am going to do is take some of this water out with the fish. Probably going to take anywhere from 15 to 20 of the goldfish, put them down there so the koi have this to themselves. I want the koi to really have a lot of room for right now until we can get the pond done in, a, in probably a month or two. These are super fast. All right, guys, they are itching to go. What do you think, miss? They ready to go in their pool pond? Got the cool little flower edition there. I like it, I like it. All right, guys, let's go into your new home. Super cool. The, uh, the non-orange ones blend in with the rocks a little bit. But I think they will be <clears throat> a lot happier with this for now. And again, most of these guys are pretty small still, so it's perfect. Um, but we will want to... Miss, come on, honey. Go. We will get these guys into something better and bigger outside once we get the uh, our big pond built out there. We're actually hoping to build a few ponds, so... These guys will transfer outside, but for now, this is gonna be awesome for them. It's gonna give the koi a lot more room. It's gonna free up uh, a little bit more room for them as well. Super fun, guys. Again, make sure you comment below. Let me know if you guys have done a pool pond before or any other cool things you have done. And uh, stay tuned for everything else we got coming. Please subscribe, join the Billings family. We have some awesome stuff coming this week, next week. Hey, do you guys like free money? We might be giving away some free money really soon, so make sure you stay tuned. Until then, peace out.